Hello and welcome. It's the WNBA here on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Phoenix Mercury going up against the Las Vegas Aces. From the 2K booth with Brian Vanifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Zuniga. Thanks for coming along. And when you look at some of the player recovery methods now, cryo saunas, you know, oxygen tents, how much has that helped players in the last, say, five years or so? Well, I think the advancements have helped these players out because remember, when the WNBA season ends, basically everyone is playing in Europe or Asia or somewhere else around the world. That just makes taking care of your body so important. You don't get a lot of time to rest or much of an offseason. Here's Griner, rejected by Carolyn Swords. A nice shot by Griner. Here's Allen, guarded by Diggins Smith. Pass to Wilson. McCautry from the arc. Griner with the rebound. You can't get in a much better position for the three pointer. Just didn't get it to fall. Coffee, no good. That's the kind of D that's needed when she's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over her. Here's McCautry. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. With some arc. They're moving it up. And she uses the glass on the layup. Always looking to make an impact. McCautry uses her attacking mindset to out-hustle the competition. Here's Coffee, covered by McCautry. Six on the shot clock. A nice shot by Diggins Smith. You know what you want to do all along? The teardrop. Here's Allen. Here's McCautry. Again, Angel McCautry missing. She is going to buy herself a ticket to the bench if she keeps shooting like she has this quarter so far. a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Few players bring their team together like Angel McCautry does. A supportive teammate, she really knows how to get the best out of every member of her squad. Yeah, guys, I'd say Angel is the veteran leader every team dreams of having. Absolutely. Learning the game from Angel is invaluable experience. She plays a great role model for players uh, just entering the league. And she makes the first. Putting her sweet tooth to good use. McCautry opened an ice cream shop in Atlanta a few years ago. Pretty cool, huh? And so she makes both from the line. And one of the stars of the WNBA on this Las Vegas team is Liz Cambage. And She's an Australian star who played in the WNBA initially in 2011 before heading overseas. But since coming back in 2018, the 6'8 center has been nothing short of dominant. Well, you love the tough D, especially inside. And that's exactly what she gives you, Tim. Constantly making her presence felt around the ring. Yeah, anytime the shot comes from that range, the offense has done its job. And for Cambage, she owns the record for most points scored in a game. She dropped in 53 in 2018 against the Liberty. In her prime now, she is shaping up to be one of the all-time greats. Just dominant physically. Her ability to use her size and take over a game is second to none. The fans just love it. Wilson takes it out to McCautry. Back to Wilson. Pass to Allen. gets it to go. Look, it's no secret that rebounding is all about effort. And that's something Wilson is never lacking. Now here's Tarasi. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. Didn't see that miss coming. She's usually so good from that range. Pass to Wilson. McCautry outside. To the middle. Here's Allen. For three. 
And it's Brittany Griner with the rebound. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right. Their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Now here's Tarasi. Coffee defended by Swords. To stop the drought. No good. Good work defensively by Kayla McBride. The drive by Angel McCautry. It's through for her second basket. He's now two for six. Knifing through defenses on a regular basis, McCautry's got a good first step and plays in control. Now here's Diggins Smith. Here's to Rossi. A nice shot by Griner. Well, it's really almost like an automatic two points. Put him up on the board anytime she gets the ball that close to the basket. The defense has to battle to keep her out of that position in the first place, or it's going to be a long day for them. On the wing, Kayla McBride. He's covered by Tarasi. And the basket by McBride. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Yeah, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points from close range, so I'd have to agree. And the Mercury call time here. And when it comes to veteran players on a team, what characteristics makes for a good leader for the younger players? Now, the ability to turn the skate into teaching moments is so huge. You have to understand that the younger players are going to make mistakes so patience is key. And I would also add that you want to lead by example because younger players are very impressionable. So it's important to set a good example every day, not just on the court, but on off the court as well. Both teams will make substitutions. Hartley outside. Pass to Cunningham. Back to Hartley. Both loose. Wilson with the steal. Here's Young. Goes back up. It's rebounded by Phoenix. They haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. That's a big part of what they want to do defensively. That's limiting her easy chances inside. Every time they get scored on during this run, it seems like it's come from inside the paint. Buckle up on defense. Yeah, it's time to collapse down and make them shoot jumpers. Now here's Hartley. Just five on the clock. Good D by De'Erica Hamby. And it's the Aces with the ball. Pass to Robinson. Griner. Here's Smith. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Four on the clock. Griner, shots good. Sometimes you look at Brittany Griner and you think she is an unstoppable force. A little bump, it doesn't do anything to stop her. She's so locked in on scoring. Now here's Wilson. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. And one of the best players in the WNBA, Diana Taurasi in action tonight, the former MVP. She does it all on the wing. One of the most dominant break. players break. ever. Two shots. And she knocks down the first one. And with Tarasi, she is at her best when the stakes are at their highest. Look, Tarasi has multiple finals MVP awards, and that speaks to that mindset you were talking about. And she's been compared to Kobe and Jordan for her impact on the league. That's the kind of generational player Diana Tarasi is. So after making the first, she goes one for two. Well, Brittany Griner, one of the biggest names in the WNBA, and standing at six foot nine, she's a dominant center in every sense of the word. And she just does everything you want from a two-way star. Yep, that goes. 
Yes. She always knows where her teammates are going to be, and she'll have that ball there waiting for them. Now Robinson looking for her first basket still in this one. Over to the left wing. Here's Wilson. The shot from the low post is good. Wow. I mean, did she ever sell that pump fake well? Worked to absolute perfection. Pass to Griner. Another shot. And they're going to count the bucket and send her to the line. It could be a three-point play. And she's got her first opportunity at the line here tonight. The Mercury making a switch here. WNBA All-Star. Griner's really made her mark in this league. Pass to Wilson. Here's Hamby. Here's Robinson. She's guarded by Griner. Danielle Robinson goes in. Another one hauled in, and they hold the slight edge in rebounding here early. Yes, yeah, scrapping for each and every rebound. They're not backing down. Great quarter for her at the offensive end. Trying to wheel them back. Pass to Wilson. Shot on the wing. And good. Coming off the assist by Danielle Robinson. A smart player with good intangibles. Wilson's a consistent scoring threat whenever she's out on the court. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Aces on top. They're up by six. And don't go away as we'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And uh, guys, what's your take on the Aces so far? Defense paying dividends for them through one. Coach has to be happy about their effort on that end. Just a lot of hustle. Phoenix trailing here. Inside, Reiner. And so she earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. It goes on Asia Wilson. Just a one-of-a-kind player. Brittany Griner is the all-time leader in dunks at every level. High school, college, pros. She's not just 6'9", she can really jump. No good on that one. We've never seen a WNBA player like Griner before. She has great lift, Brian. Yeah, and it really started back in high school in Texas because as a sophomore, she worked out with the football team to improve her leg strength. And really, any way you look at it, Brittany Griner is a once-in-a-generation type of talent. And we know the WNBA has some real passionate fans, but guys, which team do you think has the best fan base in the league? That's a good question, Blake. How about the Los Angeles Sparks? Since winning the championship back in 2016, they've been one of the mo league's most watched teams. They also have one of the strongest social media followers. I think my pick has to be the Seattle Storm. Now, let me take you back to 2008, when the city was close to losing women's professional basketball. Four extensive season ticket holders stepped in and bought the team. We all know how much Seattle loves basketball, but if that story doesn't exude passion, I don't know what will. Pass to Vaughn. Hartley outside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Another bucket in the paint. That's just something they have not been able to stop today. And if they want to win this game, they got to figure out how to stop it. You know, Brian, I think it's time to switch things up on D. What they've got going on right now is not getting it done. Snatched away. The left wing. And it's out of bounds. The Mercury able to retain possession here. She had no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Yeah, and that was important because probably would have been a quick two points if she doesn't knock it out of bounds. So I love that effort level. 
Now here's Tarasi, covered by McCautry. Five to shoot. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Turner. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. Pass to Rodgers. McBride. Hamby left side. Buries it down low. Took advantage of some shoddy D there. They got to at least get a finger on her. And here is Hartley, covered by McCautry. And Hamby over to help. They tie it up, and it's a jump ball. And so here is Phoenix. Here's McBride. Pass to Hamby. They get the rebound. The layup off target. Well, got it in close, but credit the tight defense for forcing the miss. Defense like that ups the degree of difficulty on that shot by about what? Uh, I'd say 300%? 308% maybe. Okay, I like that. Just five to shoot. And here's Diana Tarasi from the arc. She's just scored her first basket with that shot, making her a one for four. With a beautiful outside stroke, Tarasi strikes fear in the eyes of her opponents. McCautry, left side. Right side, Rogers. The shot comes out. Brittany Griner with a defensive effort. Here's Walker Kimbrough. McBride covering. Walker Kimbrough misses. The Aces with the lead. Here's Rogers. And he makes the eight footer. Here's Tarasi. And they're right on the brink of taking the lead. This is an absolutely critical moment in this game. Shoots the three. And the Mercury, another three. Back-to-back -back yes. three-pointers for them. The defense is slacking off a little. You've got to respect that three, or you'll give up points in a hurry. Right side, Rodgers. Four, three. Oh, count it! Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball at uh, one end with their own. A three-point battle starting to take shape here. Now here's Tarasi. He's tightly guarded. She did double duty right there. Influenced the shot and cleaned the glass. Well, fortune can definitely be found in Las Vegas. And if you're asking why, well, just listen to this. The Aces have won the WNBA Draft Lottery three straight times now after drafting first overall in 2017, 2018, and 2019. Well, the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs there. Something you struggled with in your career, Tim, but definitely saved the layup with that foul. She's going to have to earn him at the line. Two shots. And that one misses. And that bit of luck for the Aces has given them a solid foundation. Anytime you get to draft the top player in a draft class, things are looking up. To do it three times in a row, I mean, that's almost unheard of. The Aces have made the most of their selections as those picks are the core of this Las Vegas roster. And no good on the second free throw. She goes 0 of 2. Here's Diggin Smith. The lead pass was put in just the right spot to produce the layup. Yeah, I'd say that shot was well within her range. I hope so. There's nothing like a one-footer. Now here's McBride. Tight defense on her. Four on three as they bring it up. Diggin Smith with it. Picked up by Robinson. to tie the game. The height difference there was huge. 
but she canceled it out with great body control in the air. That body control right there is essential. If you're giving up a bunch of height on flat ground, then you better be good in the air. And be able to adjust in the air, too. Here's Diggin Smith. Gets to the rim for two with a D all over her. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize this team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. Here's McCautry. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. It's on Diana Taurasi. For your Las Vegas Aces. Angel McCautry. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Well, the Mercury uh, franchise with a few banners. Now, they got three in total, and those have come in 2007, 2009, and most recently, 2014. And you just got to think of them as a very well-run organization. And you look at the history of the Mercury, they stay competitive. It's not just the titles that set this franchise apart. They've only missed the playoffs twice in the last decade. They have great leadership, and that's helped this team succeed. Pass to Vaughn. From deep three-point range, her aim is not true. That makes her one for two. Here's Allen. To the paint, second shot opportunity. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trick to the line to shoot two. Guys, few young players can score the rock like Asia Wilson. She boasts an explosive first step with an accurate mid-range game. And guys, it's pretty remarkable to see how much Wilson impacts her team. She can score, yes. But she's a force on the boards as well. And backed by great effort and timing, she can really be a rebounding machine. That free throw, no good. You know, I admire the confidence that Wilson plays basketball with game in and game out. She remains calm and collected every time she's out on the hardwood. That one is no good. And talking about Wilson, she isn't afraid to go up against anybody. Yeah, and I think that's part of what makes her a great shot blocker. She never wants to let in any easy buckets. Her defensive presence means so much for this team. Pass to Diggin Smith. Coffee covered by McCautry. Here's Diggin Smith. That one, no good. And Las Vegas the other way now. They've led by as much as 10. And they double up Angel McCautry. Robinson, shot's good. That's how you do it. She passed her way out of the double team and into an easy bucket. Here's Coffey. Here's Smith. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Block at six. Good shot by Vaughn. No good. To the inside. Wilson. Good. And the assist goes to Angel McCautry. This is quite a performance we're seeing from her today. Not one miss on the day, which means that's right. She's a perfect 100% in the field. Pass to Diggin Smith. Down low. Here's Coffey. Stop this drought, another miss. McCautry outside. Here's Allen. And it's gonna be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And the Aces, they're a team that isn't looking to stretch the floor. They do most of their work in the mid-range and around the rim area. And they'll rarely take more than a handful of threes each game. And the first one at the line is good. The Aces making a switch. She 
He makes one of two that time. The Mercury Trail. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Back to Young. Right wing. Here's Allen, guarded by Diggins Smith. Here's Young, nailed from three-point land. And I'm sensing this game really starting to swing their way. Yeah, they're taking charge, no doubt about it. And that lead's going to get more and more comfortable as they do. I agree, Brian. Let's see how this one plays out. That'll do it for the first half. The Aces on top. They're up by eight. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. second half about to start in just a few moments and you know Asia Wilson has been really making it happen she broke out her entire arsenal of post moves in the first half and every one of them was working yeah and I'm gonna call her the magician because I think she might have even a few more tricks up her sleeve and I think she's gonna break them out as we start heading down the stretch all right the second half beginning in a moment and it's the Mercury with the ball. Eight-point game. Out to the wing. Here's Turner. It's good. The assist that time from Skylar Diggins-Smith. An absolute floor general. Vision and passing are the trademarks of Diggins-Smith's game. Wilson wins the buckets. She's their go-to scorer, and when she shoots the ball like she has today, that is what the scoreboard usually looks like. Rossi outside. Off the mark there with the three. Here's McBride. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. There's a pattern taking shape. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Yeah, four of their last five baskets have been of exactly that variety. Outside, Diggin Smith. the triple offensive rebound controls the rebound and puts it back up and in a great offensive rebounder because of her awareness and effort I'm impressed with Turner pass to McBride now Wilson she's covered by Tarasi poked away and so it looks like the aces will retain possession here Here's Allen. Four on the shot clock. Here's McCautry. Misses the three. Knocked away. 
and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot, and will go to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. And so she hits both. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. On the wing, Kayla McBride. She's covered by Tarasi. Up top, Swords. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Here's Tarasi. Oh, jammer! Wow! It goes on Asia Wilson. Really, guys, what separates Tarasi from the pack in terms of all-time great, her consistency. Almost every season she's played a full slate, two. normally averaging 20 points each night out. And the first one falls for her. It's not just in the WNBA. Her incredible conditioning has led her to win four gold medals. And championships overseas, a bunch of scoring titles. I mean, she's really done it all. You can pretty much count on Tarasi every night of the season. Both shots good from the stripe. As loyal as they come, Tarasi is in rare air with three WNBA championships all with the same franchise. McBride outside. And fouled hard that time. And she'll get two shots at the line. And this is her first free throw of the game. Kayla McBride at the line for two. to the WNBA all-rookie team, McBride made an immediate impact in this league. And the second free throw, good. Here's Hartley. To the paint. Reiner. They get a hand on it. Out of bounds, it'll be Ace's ball. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Pass to Hamby. Swords. Now here's Wilson. And up the court come the Mercury on the break. And the basket by Walker Kimbrough. That's a precision shot. No room for error on the floater. And here's Wilson. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Shooting for your Las Vegas Aces. Carolyn Swords at the line for two. First free throw is good. And she makes both free throws. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Uh, 
Hartley outside. They double team Brittany Griner. And a bit of a battle for the ball, and the official signals a jump ball there. And it's the Mercury with the ball. Pass to Turner. Here's to Rossi. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Hartley. The three-pointer off the mark. The ace is leading. Here's Allen. Count that one. Rossi with it. She's got eight. Inside. Reiner. Yes. And a nice assist from Diana Tarasi. Challenging shot down low, but with Griner's reach, I mean, she'll shoot those with points. And be outside. Nick Ride. Turner grabs the board. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy because nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. And count it. The shot is good, good. and she'll go to the line. That's their third straight make off an assist, and it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. half at the free throw line for them that'll help their comeback effort for sure yeah those free throws are helping them keep contact McBride outside shoots over Tarasi and the basket by McBride yeah a reliable and trustworthy scorer McBride works hard to break down defenses game in and game out Outside Robinson. Now here's Young. Defense right on her. No good with the layup. Here's the break. Foul call that time on the way up. And that'll give her two chances at the free throw. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Getting to the stripe is something they've been doing a lot of in the second half. And when you do it, it's such a good strategy when you're behind because not only do you get points, but the clock stops as well. Doesn't get the second. Now here's Hamby. Five points in the game. Jackie Young drives in. And the layup's good off the glass. With lightning quickness and a great handle, Young can drive at will. And you really can't double her because she's so good at passing the ball. Here's Hartley. That one falls. What a bad time for these defenders to just be standing around watching. I mean, not while the ball's in her hands. Unhindered going all the way. Drops in the breakaway layup. Quick hands in the steal, quick feet on the break. And that's a silly error there. Coughing the ball up and then not being quick enough to get back on defense. It's just giving him free points. Pass to Robinson. Shot clock at five. And that's out of bounds. Las Vegas. Will Mercury making a switch here. Shot clock at three. It's tipped. Young. Las Vegas the rebound. Excellent D there from Brittany Griner. 
Here's Cunningham. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Showing some strength in the paint. Tough rebound. Misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. The Mercury Trail. Pass to Griner. They double team Brittany Griner. Smith. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Kicked right outside. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Well, it wasn't a block officially, but it might as well been. She really affected that shot. Yeah, it was clearly her defense that threw her off there. Pass to Smith. Cunningham. Just four to shoot. They double team Brittany Griner. Offensive board. That shot off. Left side Robinson. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. The plan worked perfectly that possession. Get it inside. Get the high percentage shot. Hartley outside. Griner. Back to Hartley. Pass to Smith. Hartley. Robinson covering. Stolen by Danielle Robinson. With the teardrop. And it's good on the lay-in. You have to have perfect timing to knock down the teardrop. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Offensively, she's hurting them more than she's helping them this quarter. Here's McBride. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot, and we'll shoot two at the line. An unpredictable creator with a variety of moves. McBride thrives on getting to the line. Kayla McBride taking two shots. The first free throw is good. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Both good at the line. And here is Diggins Smith. He's got six. Pass to Coffey. Reiner. Diggins Smith with it. He's guarded by Wilson. Shot clock at six. The Mercury with another miss. Just a slight advantage for them in the rebound department. Yeah, especially when you're scoring the ball at, at even a decent clip. They've done what's necessary to take the lead. Shot and game clock separated by five. McBride misses. You just assume she's going to knock those down when she's as open as she was there. Here's Diggin Smith. Sweet little floater. Mechanically sound, even on unconventional shots. Dickens Smith does a pretty good job of playing to her strengths. And we've watched three so far in this one. The Aces on top, they lead by six. And we've got more exciting basketball action coming your way right after the break. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. The winner today coming from an unlikely source. It's the sweetest dime of the day. What a plus it is to have a post player who can pass like this. Yeah, it's a huge boost to an offense. It adds a whole other set of options to our team.
welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. McCautry up top. Lays it up and banks it in. What sets McCautry apart from other players is her will to win. Loves to compete until the ref blows the whistle. Reiner defended by Swords. And that one's good. Coffee. Well, you just can't give her that kind of position in the post. When she gets in that good of a position, it's just so hard to stop her. McCautry outside. Knocked loose. Soft touch off the glass. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. I mean, there's more holes in their defense than in a block of Swiss cheese. Hey, it's made me hungry, but that's right. Five of their last six makes were in tight. They've established themselves inside. Where's the cheese? One of the stories here, Asia Wilson getting it done today. I think I know what they're going to be talking about this time out. He's been taking it to him all game inside, and they haven't been able to stop her. They need to put up a better fight. Fourth quarter gone now. Here's to Rossi. Here's Reiner. And she gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two free throws coming up. And the foul called on the Las Vegas Aces. Shooting two. Get the first one. And she's good on the second. The ace is leading. Here's Allen. To Wilson. Let's it go for 14. Rebounded by Coffee. That he should be thanking her for that miss. Knocked away. It's stolen by Jackie Young. Now here is McCautry. She's covered by Tarasi. Pass to Allen. Wilson can't cash in from the left block. Excellent interior D uh, right there to force the miss. Yeah, and unlike you, Tim, her defensive ability is a huge factor. No <gasps> doubt about it. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here, and hopefully they can build on it as we go along. And good on both. Yeah, born and raised in South Bend, Indiana, it was cool to see Diggins Smith stay in state to play collegiate basketball. Pass to Wilson. Back to McCautry. Young. Five on the clock. And here's Wilson. Boots over to Rossi. Wilson with the bucket. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. Now Griner. To Rossi outside. 
Pass to Diggin Smith. Reiner. They double team Brittany Griner for three. It's hauled in by Angel McCosh. Here's Allen, guarded by Diggin Smith. Wilson doesn't go that time. Excellent D there from Brittany Griner. Outside Diggin Smith. Skyler Diggin Smith drawing the double team. From downtown. No luck on that one. And Las Vegas the other way now. Poked away. Pass to Tarasi. It's good. The assist that time from Skyler Diggin Smith. Phenomenal balance and body control when finishing around the rim. Tarasi is big time. Here's Allen. No good on the three. I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Looked good here, too. I'm as shocked as you. Diggin Smith's shot is off. And here are the aces now. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. Allen and she was fouled on the way up two free throws for her it's gonna go on Brittany Griner shooting for your Las Vegas Aces Lindsay Allen at the line for two The first one falls. And good on the second, so she makes both. They've done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten their percentage to over 80% now. Out of bounds, the Aces will take it. Now here is Robinson. She's covered by Tarasi. McCautry outside. To the inside. It's stolen by Griner. Diana Tarasi on the wing. Rebound by the Aces. Pass to Wilson. Can't get it to fall. Phoenix trailing here. The drive by Diana Tarasi. That one, good for two. Scoring in solid defense, it, it what sets Tarasi apart. It's what makes her an all-timer. She scores when it isn't easy. And the Aces call time here. Well, they want to tinker with the game plan a little bit, and now's the time to do it. Yeah, there was clearly some things going on out there that the coaching staff wasn't a fan of. Well, just look at the shooting percentage. Yeah, that tells the story. She's been unbelievable tonight. Sure, she's gotten great looks, but that means nothing unless you finish plays. The ace is leading. Right outside. Wilson outside. And they double up Angel McCautry. Here's Allen. And another miss by Las Vegas. 
Not her best game, but they're getting it done collectively. Hartley's shot is off. Now the Aces with it. They've led by as much as 10. Here's Allen. She's guarded by Hartley. Clock at four. Pass to Swords. Takes the three. Turner grabs the board. Here's Coffee. Good work defensively by Kayla McBride. Here's Allen. That falls. Great assist by Kayla McBride. Always looking for holes in the defense. It's McBride's recognition that allows her to slice up any defensive scheme. Pass to Coffee. To Rossi. And the three off target. Eventually, I think she'll start knocking those down again. And that one good. Well, with a strong understanding of the game, McCautry is able to survey the floor and find the holes in the defense. Now here's Tarasi. She's guarded closely. It doesn't go for her. So Las Vegas will take it the other way. On the wing, Angel McCautry. Allen. She's guarded by Hartley. McBride with the ball. Reiner's there. And there's the three second violations. <laughs> And the Mercury call time here. Noticing the squad was getting a bit worn out there, and Coach called time to let him grab a drink and revitalize. shooting the rock around her. McCautry outside. A put back. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Second chance buckets, they're always the result of hard work. Rossi outside. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And the Aces with possession. Here's McCautry. Mercury with the rebound. Here's Coffey. Pass to Turner. Rossi with it. Here's Coffey. Six to shoot. Hartley. And there's a shot clock violation. Couldn't get it off in time. Both teams deciding to change it up. And you've got to think a basket here would seal it. No question. That would be all she wrote. And what a, what a story she wrote. Well, what was the story? And the outside. Off with the layup. So here's Phoenix. They trail by 11. Pass to Vaughn. 
Smith. Fry covering. Here's Cunningham. Here's Vaughn. The Mercury with another miss. Yeah, I mean, that's not heads up basketball. Why try the fadeaway when no one's on you? So it's the Aces winning this one easily. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, and they did a great job of execution, both uh, offensively, defensively, playing in control. When they had a misstep, they got right back to work and made up for it. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.